Hey, welcome back to Sandra's journey. Okay, um, I promise you like three videos ago that I'll personally, in, you know, tell you about me and tell you a little about what I'm doing and what I'm taking to help me on this journey. And um, so this is it. I'm Sandra. I'm originally from Jamaica and um, you know, born and raised in Jamaica most of my adult, early adult life. And I'm now residing in Georgia, United States. Okay, um, I, I've been trying a whole bunch of different things for the last six years. And um, I actually come up on Herbal Life just three months ago. So basically, I decided to, you know, be open with this journey. I have few friends, you know, popping in my inbox asking me stuff like, um, what you're doing, what you're taking and your routine and does Herbalife really works for you and stuff like that. So basically I'm here to be like a testament for it, you know, in the sense of what's happening. So I can tell you a little bit about, um, the beginning of everything. So Six years ago, of course, um, you know, coming up in your early 20s, you're all fine and everything. I'm looking at 135, 145. I remember I was comfortable at 150. I was fine, you know, looking cool. Um, in my early 30s, I was like um, settling, really settling at 175 where I was a size I was between a size 10 and size 14. You know, I was fluctuating between 10 and 12. And then I realized I'm going on to 14 and 16. I was like, mm, what's happening here? You know, and the older I get and my metabolism slowing down. And of course, my activity slowing down because in, um, I'm a full-time caregiver. You know, in my early 20s, 30s early 40s I'm the street working between the nursing home the hospital I do child care I've been like so I've been always active you know so basically being all active and everything like that it have me you know keeping everything going on a minimal so of course six years ago I I actually you know not, I won't call it retired, but I stopped doing full-time, you know, caring. And I take up the business for myself. So basically having your own business and everything is sort of a different momentum of putting out a lot of manual work. It's mostly mental work and paperwork and stuff like that. Anyways, enough about that. So three months ago, um... You know, I was here on Facebook and um, I see, you know, people, I've been hearing about it for a while and um, I tried it probably for a month with a friend of mine around, say around eight years ago. It sort of worked, but then of course I went on to doing other stuff that really helps. But then but the minute you come off of it, then there comes the weight and all of that story going on with you. So... When I decided to try herbal life and everything, I um I realized that I'm not starving, you know. So my routine is I'll do a shake in the mornings and then I'll do, you know, like a probably a snack, probably a protein snack, anything between a fruit or some almond nuts or anything between it depends on what i'm doing for that day you know my going in and out and then i'll have like a very nice decent lunch like a salad with either chicken you know or fish with steamed vegetables and um every now and again i'll put brown rice with whatever i'm eating or nowadays I find other little stuff going on or I'll just make stuff for myself. I know it's healthy and I eat in portions. And then, you know, mid-afternoon, probably around 4 o'clock, I'll probably have something light. And then after I go to the gym, I come back, I'll do another shake. So let me show you what I actually do. So 
These are um the shakes that I'm having. They call it former. This one is um the formula one, and it's they have a whole different bunch of flavors. You know, different flavors. So it depends on what flavor you like and what you want to drink. This one was the maple pecan. I got this, <laughs> but to honest with you, I, I bought this from last year. You know, um, in the Thanksgiving season, coming on to Christmas. I love it so much. I hardly, I normally drink it like, like a hot, like for hot. I drink it warm in the nighttime because it tastes like a, something going on, like a, a, you know, a maple syrup, chocolate mocha loco, something like that. I can't pronounce it properly. Forgive me. Anyways, and this one is a mango pineapple. So the team that I joined up with, they're from the UK. So they tell me, ooh, girl, you lucky. Cause in the in, in you guys in America have a whole different bunch of flavors going on for you. We say, ooh, ooh for that. Cause I do get a whole bunch of flavors for real. I do vanilla, I do cookies and cream. They have this other one, um I can't remember, mint chocolate. And it's really nice. Okay, to prepare these, it's I was planning on doing it you know, do a lunch or do a breakfast preparation, but I didn't get a chance to do it. So no, I hear it. So let me just probably walk you through it. So preparing this, I normally do like two scoops and um, I normally use, they have the PDM, that's a protein mix, but I don't have one here with me. No, I'm out. So I use um, my kind of milk that I use. I use almond milk or the emph milk. You know it's pure it's not um yeah that's what i use with it and um i'll put this in it as well or you can drink it by itself so this is a collagen the beauty booster you know collagen as well so i put one scoop with my breakfast mix but you can sometimes if i don't remember to put it in I'll just drink it by itself with some with water and it's really nice it have this really tangy flavor going on for, with it because it's a strawberry lemon this is strawberry lemon flavor so after I take after I mix those um of course I have my multivitamins the multivitamins and then I have the cell activator and I have the herbal line that's the omega-3 fatty acid so basically you know this is what it's look like so we all know this tablet so it might have a different name in this bottle but we all know what we call it cod liver oil in Jamaica but it's the same thing the omega-3 okay and um sometimes not all the time because you're supposed to hear me preach it all the time. This is the herbal, the tea. It's nice. Give you energy, boost your metabolism and stuff like that. You can drink a, a cup of this in the morning. You can drink one in the mid-afternoon. It depends on you. But with me, I'll, I'll drink just a little bit in the morning. Sometimes. Because it, it really, you know, it's for me it have caffeine in it so it mess with my speeding on my artery and stuff like that and then go through caffeine withdrawal sometimes this is another snack it's a beverage mix protein based snack with energy you can have this midday this is one of my snacks that i have i'll have this probably around mid afternoon so around three o'clock around that time because you know most time in the daytime you have this probably around two three o'clock you find yourself start getting drowsy it depends but with me that's what happened so this helped boot you again and push you and get you going so this is what i take for my mid-afternoon snack like probably three o'clock so it's same thing two scoops of course let me read and make sure because of course my husband always said me i don't read so it's two scoops of course and um two let me direct you. It says 14 service serving per container. And it's two scoops for 20 grams of water. So um, that's basically eight ounces, I think. Anyways, that's what I do. And in the evening, after I do my gym, 
I take the Herbal 24 Nutrition for 24 Hour Athlete. It's Rebuild Strength. This helps repair your muscles and stuff like that. And it's really good. So Rebuild Strength, we created a sustained muscle building shake for deliveries of the Tokor Protein Amino Blend of Free Amino Acid. It's a wee and casein protein to help rebuild fatigue muscles over a multi-hour period. Rebuild strength, carbohydrate blend help enhance muscle recovery by supporting the delivery of amino acid for the muscles. It works. And with me, sometimes I'll push myself in the gym. It helps. So... That's basically what I do on a daily basis. Sometimes I'll get creative. All right, to tell you honest, on a weekend, I give myself a break from all of that. Like for Saturday and Sundays, I give myself a break from all of that. Totally. So that's what I do. So I'll get up Sunday morning and I make breakfast for the family. And we have breakfast. And then we'll have dinner. And basically, you know, we, we healthy base eat. So whatever we eat, it don't really affect my diet because I don't use um, oil per se. I try, if I'm using oil, I must like avocado oil and um, stuff like that. And I don't, and I do a lot of wheat products as well. And a lot of um, natural stuff. So... I'll always be on the, my, you know, the balanced part of my meal. I do a lot of drinking of water. Water is a must. And I do a lot of fruit intake. I try and get as much as possible. Fresh fruits from the, the store. I'll eat it. That's a part of my snack too. But I'll try and eat that in the morning snack hours. So for instance, I have breakfast 9 o'clock. So... That would be my morning, not the fruits would be my morning snack because it's natural sugar and everything like that. So I'll take my fruits. I don't count calories. I was on a diet probably a few years back and I had to count calories. I don't do it. So that's not me. And I'm eating to be healthy, not to lose weight per se. Because as I told in a few videos, three videos back, I'm hypertensive as well. And it helped maintain my blood pressure. Right now, my blood pressure is really superb. It's super good. My numbers are, if my, 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 my weight numbers was as good as my blood pressure number, I'd be fine. <laughs> yes. Anyways, um, I have um, a friend asking me as well. If is there a way that I could help her to get it, like get on the program that I'm on? Yes, I can. It's really much possible. So first I start out as a customer and um, I have my my coach and the person who sponsor me as well. So because of that, I got a percentage of buying my stuff. So after um, another friend of mine joined on with me, I become her sponsor and automatically become a distributor so because i become a distributor um they sent me packets like these it's like sample packets i have a video that i did when i got the, the box so my sample packets have samples of everything that i just showed you here and this is a formula one plus the pdm on the go so this is just one mix you put this in water with ice you know ice water make your shake or you could use milk as well and you make a shake boom you're gone and then you have this is a tea the same thing i was telling you about here the tea so these are the sample packets of everything that i have and everything is in this packet and you have a bunch of um you have the total control which and i don't take it too but you have persons who take it and it works for them so it's basically stuff like that that's in the sample packet. So I don't mind sharing my products with you in the sense that you're nearby. 
here in Georgia because the ship it from Georgia is going to cost me some money a whole lot of money like you know put mailing stuff but if you're here in Georgia I'll drop it off I'll meet you somewhere and give it to you let you try it and if you're interested I can always sign you up in the sense of getting that you can get it they're good products they really taste good and um if you stick to the diet and stick to the plan if you're on the journey of losing weight and you stick to that plan that um the coach because i have a coach as well i work with i have a, my, my coach from the herbal life coach and i have my personal nutritionist as well so i work with my nutritionist plus i work with the herbal life coach and if you stick to the plan that the herbal life coach put you on if you really want to lose weight honestly it will work i mean everybody body respond different to whatever product everybody is taking don't get me wrong don't quote me on saying that it's gonna work a hundred percent for you because it worked for me no don't quote me on that what i'm saying is that everybody bodies work differently so basically if you're gonna take this and they put you on a plan the coach because i'll introduce you to my coach as well and she'll direct you and you know talk you through stuff and um if it works for you or if something not working you can always reach out back to me or reach out back to her you know it's basically somebody's always a phone call away or a text away or a video call away it you know it's they're always there they're reachable so that's basically it and um next thing too you have to exercise so without working there won't be no success in whatever you're doing so you have to exercise you got to exercise you got to get up and walk and i tell you that for going to the gym go do no whole heap of over the top thing because you're not trying out for no marathon or you're not trying out for the olympics no i'm not telling you that i'm telling you you get your 15 to 20 or 30 minutes in get some walking around your block walk up and down your steps who have steps in the house walk around the house you're in jamaica you jamaica i've never ever stuck with no weight when i was living in jamaica because i'll be walking walking everywhere you're going i know the, the life modernized now people jump into a car or a taxi that come to the gate or everybody have their own ride nowadays and they drive gone they make you get lazy no exercise burn them calories drink water 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 so basically that's it for now that's my whole plan for each day that i get up i try and get up at six sometimes not lying to you now till i'll be open and honest i'll try and get up as early as i can some i mean i used to get up and just go in the gym in the mornings and and but it doesn't work for me for the entire day. So I do gym in the afternoon. I come back from work, you know. And, um, but my first thing, what I do each morning, I try and get my meditation in. I use the word meditation because I don't want to offend anybody. But I do my, my, my worship. I do my reading, my, my Bible. I pray to God whatever get you comfort and peace of mind within yourself try and do that first thing relax the head and last thing at night also do that unwind yourself relax get your breathing pattern in try and let go of the day's stress fix the day's stress you make your plan for tomorrow, you make your plan and you leave it and go to bed with a free mind. That's what killing us these days, all the stress that's happening out there and all of the worries of everything, financial and everything that's happening. It's hard for we really settle down and figure out what we want. So we keep sleep, lay in the bed and the brain keep going like this. And you never fall asleep. And then tomorrow morning you wake up tired 
because you mind doing this. Try and eat and drink a cup of tea and relax before bed. Like, don't go to bed with a full stomach. So if you can't eat everything, finish completing, eat everything before six, kudos to you. What I do is do a, a calculation between my, end, my cut off eating time to the beginning eating time the next day. Because, you know, the entire night is 12 hours and you're not, you're not eat. So what I do is I try my last thing I put in my mouth is a cup of tea. And I try and do that like between 7 o'clock, late is 7 o'clock. That's it. I'll then go to bed. So everything else, because my heavy meal really is 3 o'clock where I have my heavy lunch. And then I have another shake in the evening. Either before or after I work out. And then I have my cup of tea. And then that's it for me. I cut off. But it, I try and monitor myself. Because sometimes, you know, you go overboard. Especially on weekends. You know, the kids and everything. And you go out or whatever. You eat out. And probably 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock catch you eating. I monitor myself. I don't eat. I wouldn't put another bite in my mouth the next, till the next day around probably 9, 10, 10 o'clock. I don't do y'all don't call it fasting, but I just monitor myself. I make sure that my stomach is flush and then I eat again. Alright? First thing in the morning, a cup of tea or or, or a, a glass of warm water. Oh, I forgot. We have this other thing that um it's aloe vera. I put that with warm water and drink. It helps flush your system as well. I didn't remember to get, take it out. It's in, you know, so but next time I'll show it to you. It's in a bottle. And it's really nice flavored as well. So, there you go. That's a little bit of Sandra on our daily routine. The next time I meet you, hopefully I meet you on the mat. Or meet you in the gym. Or meet you walking around the block. Um, The summer is setting in. The pollen is dying down so i'll be doing a lot of outdoor walking i'll try and commit myself to at least one day out of the week to go on the mountain because i'm just living like 20 less than 20 minutes from stone mountain so i go go up the mountain or go around it going around is five miles going up is two going up is like it's nice it's rigorous it's nice on everything pushing your body Going around it, boom, that's it. You get a full day workout. When I do around around the mountain, probably on a Sunday, you know, get me do nothing again till probably Tuesday. It really works me. So I'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. And hopefully I'll see you very in the near future. Thank you. Bye.